Ew, gross, I can't believe this isn't here. I can't believe this isn't here. Guys, I shed so much and look at all of this hair down here. It is so gross. So this is actually my car dog's car seat and we keep her buckled in with this and I really love it. I've had it for like four or five years now and she loves it too. She knows this is her spot and she stays right here the whole car ride. So it's kind of fun and I enjoy having it. I'm sure you're gonna want this for your dog too so I will link all of it below. Is there an expiration date? Maybe, I have no idea. Oh my goodness, it expired over two years ago. Right, guys, are you wiping down everything too? It's like, these wipes are everywhere. All right, I'm gonna put these away, but, ooh, goodness. I think, I think I might have a napkin hoarding problem, guys. But let's go ahead and put these cords in here too, because I don't, I, won't, I, don't, I don't want them out. I'm gonna take the car to get it detailed. like an abyss in here, but we'll get to this part later. Okay. So I'm gonna take all this, I'm gonna take all this in and wash it. This bag in theory is like really good, but I have had this in my car literally for five years since I've had it and it just has not been working for me. So we're gonna totally rehaul my organizing system but I'm gonna load this up with everything that needs to go inside the house. So when we get back from getting the car wash, we can organize everything inside. guys I cannot live like this anymore my car is so dirty <laughs> so I pulled everything out of it and we're heading up to the car wash where they're gonna wash my car and like vacuum it out and wipe all the surfaces down and all that good stuff we actually can't wash our cars in our neighborhood um, there's some, it's something about the water runoff so going up to the car wash all right so after we go to the car wash we're gonna go to the Dollar Tree and shop for products specifically to organize in the car and then we're actually gonna organize everything inside of the car like all of those little little pieces like I showed you the the, the inside of my console here is just like a bottomless pit we're gonna organize it all and these are all products that you can access at your Dollar Tree so stick with me we're gonna get to all of it and I have a surprise for you at the very end I found this one gadget that everybody needs, including you, so stick with me.
spot with hand car wash. You know, I have the most wonderful customers, just like you said, okay. that's San Diego, California. Okay, so the first thing I found in Dollar Tree were these collapsible like brush compacts. These are giving me such 90s vibes. We're gonna grab one. I saw one in purple. And then over in the like school section, they have these button envelopes. You get two for a dollar. They are two different sizes. I think that's a great idea, especially since they are gonna be easy to wipe clean. But if you don't like those, there are lots of other options for folders, including this pocket folder, which is also really cool because you get the pocket folder, but you also get like this zipper in the front. Then we're also going to go over, we're still in the school section and grab one of these pencil cases. And um, these collapsible storage containers, they're, they're not the top quality, but they're gonna be good enough for the car. And then they also generally have, depending on the season, they have all sorts of cosmetic bags and you can get lots of different, like if, if there's, you know, a color or a theme or something that you like, just keep looking because they change these out pretty regularly. They have the color block ones now, some of them say fabulous. And then as I kept looking, I saw some that were a little more kid-like with the unicorns. And um, I think we also find some cats, but there are lots of different color block ones, which is very trendy right now. And as you can see, I found more like kid ones um, with the sloth. And then there is another one with a cat and just all sorts of you can find different ones generally every season in Dollar Tree. So I am going to go ahead and grab one of the color block ones. Then when we get to the like personal care aisle, there are lots of options here. Anything you, almost anything you want, you can keep in your car. We're going to grab the tooth, uh, like single use toothbrushes. And then also I want a toothbrush holder. A lot of Dollar Trees will sell them individually, but this is actually a better deal. You get three plus three toothbrushes for a dollar. And then these may not be the best deal in the world, but if you just want small, compact little pieces to put in your car, you can get personal hygiene items that are, you know, Tampax brand or Always brand to keep in your car as well. And uh, disinfecting wipes, we're, we all seem to be using these lately. These are a perfect size to keep in your car. And then we're going to continue looking at storage options. So there's lots of storage op options at Dollar Tree. Generally, mine aren't the greatest, but these these are a three piece for a dollar. Little miniature storage containers. You can get them in gray or clear. And then this, um, you know, this isn't necessary, obviously, but we're gonna, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with this later. And right now I'm going to let you see like me fumble through trying to close this with one hand while I was recording with the other hand. Very interesting, very funny. So go ahead and get your giggle on because it took me a minute. <laughs> it, it, it took me longer than I wanted to, but I have a plan for this in the car as well. So stick with me. We're gonna go ahead and organize the car next. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna just start opening this stuff up that we bought at the Dollar Tree so we can start using it. Of course, we got these folders from Jot. I'm probably, the button folders, I'm probably only gonna use the smaller one in the car. The larger one I'll take in and use for like my stickers and stuff in my craft room. So let's get it all open and out. So we have everything we need to work with here. And for this, I just wanted one of these toothbrush holders to keep my pens in. So I'm only gonna open it like a little bit to get one of these out. So remember we got the pencil case. I have a plan for this, disinfecting wipes. Okay, so remember we got a couple of storage containers. These are for the abyss that is my console. This, while we could use this as a trash bin, um, I actually want to keep some stuff in here for my dog. So I'm gonna have to get a couple things out of the house just to keep like, in case of emergency if we're out and i need something or maybe we're being delayed so i'm gonna keep a few things in here for my dog all right first things first i did just throw this in here for trash and this is one of the collapsible storage cubes from dollar tree so i'm gonna stick this down here and i'm just going to keep things in it that i keep in my car like 
an extra sweater, an umbrella, so let's get that in there. All right, so I've got that in there, and I did put a lint roller in the door. You can generally find lint rollers at Dollar Tree. Mine just never seems to have them, so we buy larger packs. Guys, more napkins. More napkins. This is so deep. Look at this back here. And then, oh my gosh, there's like, I don't know. There's so much, so much room in here. Have a folder already in here which is why I didn't need to buy another one. I have been keeping these like flyers for my donation bins in here, but I'm turning this over to the rescue. If you don't follow me on my other channel, it's Jessica L. Fisher, the Furry Family Coach, you can check the link tree in the description and there's a link directly to it or you can just search Jessica L. Fisher. So I'm turning the donation bins over to the rescue because um, we're moving in a couple of months. So I actually am, I don't know, probably by the time this video goes up, I'll have that video up as well on my other channel. So I'm gonna take these in to remind me to send all these files over to them. Tape, for some reason, I'm gonna take this back in the house. So now let's move on to the center console. Okay, so I'm not really sure of the best way to do this like while I'm filming, but I'm gonna grab this stuff <laughs> out of the very top. Piece, and I actually just want to put back in here um, my registration and like that is it. So let me do that real quick and then we'll move on to the bottom piece. All right, so I lied. So I have my registration card in here and then I also have a little notepad for like emergencies. And then here's what I need the toothbrush holder for. I put my pins inside of the toothbrush holder and now like if they explode or something they're not going to destroy my car and they are just like right there easily accessible so now let's move on to the this my goodness okay let's move on here and i'm going to pull everything out and then we'll get it all organized poop bags are like oh so important those are going to go in my dog emergency kit tissues are also incredibly important this I have held on to this for so many years because it was a gift and if you followed my channel you know like as part of the decluttering process we don't keep things just because they were gifts. It's cute because there's like poop bags in here and hand sanitizer but the reality is I don't use hand sanitizer um, just like in general and while this is a really cute idea. Um, I don't know, it's just not something that I use. So I'm going to donate it and pass it along to somebody who might actually love this and use this. Like, look how cute that is. Now, you can see I have like this abyss in here. So let's get it all organized. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this pencil case and I'm gonna put some napkins in it because obviously, you know, I have an issue. Like I hoard napkins like nobody's business. So I'm going to find some of the nicer napkins maybe <laughs> and load those in here. I mean, Chick-fil-A always has nice napkins. So this is going to be like my napkin stash. And like I said, this is going to be like my little dog emergency kit. So there's an extra slip lead in case like of emergencies and my poop bags and I'm gonna be adding a couple other things to this from inside the house. Okay, so these containers are pretty cool. You get three for a dollar and they're stackable. So like if you have, if you're one of those people that has a lot of change in your car, you could definitely use this instead of a cup holder so you're not messing it up. I'm going to stick a couple of these in the bottom, as you see here, of my um, center console. And I'm just going to start putting things in that I know I need to keep in the car. So like, I don't think I really need all these sugars, but yeah. all right, I've got a pile over here to get rid of. Um, just a couple of things that I know I'm going to need. So like, I keep facial tissue, which is Kleenex, obviously, a lot of that in my car. Um, and then 
couple extra things here. So I've been using this bag, which is cool. Like I like it a lot to just keep feminine hygiene products in it. I just got this one. It's a little bit bigger. So I'm going to move some things over and add a couple more. We've got our scope crest, no water needed mini toothbrushes, the compact, um, fold up brush so let's get all of this transferred into this is a bigger case so I'll be able to fit more in there so the cool thing about these stackable containers first of all they match my interior but they had clear ones as well if you would like the clear ones is like you can put your change down there if you're one of those people that keeps change and then stack another one on top of it and put whatever else you need in there which is really cool um, so that I hope that's so much so much cleaner and nicer guys don't you think and um one thing i will say is that i didn't use these now i could use this instead of <laughs> the folder i already had in my car which actually might not be a bad idea let me do that real quick so like i said this is the folder that i already had in my car and i just put like my paperwork in it but um let me go ahead and just use this like button folder instead to give you guys an idea of like really all you have to do is take your stuff put it in the button folder and then it's actually like not waterproof but like water resistant so if you get something on it if you get something on it like it'll be easy to clean it off and then we can just use that instead just like that and then i put the d disinfecting wipes it's like this cubby was made <laughs> for disinfecting wipes so that's that and this one like i said i got it for the little one um if you can see but I got it to put my registration card in but it's actually a little bit too big so no harm no foul I'll use it like with my crafts or something and so now I'm just gonna get all the rest of this cleaned up and in the house and my car is so much more clean and organized and then like I said here's my little like dog emergency kit. I'm gonna add a couple things to in my little collapsible storage container. So it all fits in this one place. All neat and cleaned and organized. And let's just appreciate for a minute how clean my car is. Let's appreciate it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other suggestions um, or maybe things you use in your car from the Dollar Tree, definitely comment down below and let me know about it. If there was something I showed you in this video that I, maybe you never thought of, go ahead and comment that down below as well. Thank you so much for being with me here today. Give this video a big thumbs up and look down there at the subscribe button. If it's red, go ahead and click it and turn it gray and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free to you. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for being here. Also, don't forget to check all the links in the description if you are, I, I know I talked to you about some of the stuff I have in here for my dog. If you are a pet parent, make sure you check out my other channel, Jessica L. Fisher, the furry family coach, because I do all kinds of stuff there. And if you are a pet parent, check the link in the description to my Patreon because you get all new and exclusive content over there just for pet parents. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Again, I hope you give this video a thumbs up. I can't wait to see you in the next video.